Hello, hi Sumit. This is Keshav from Collegepedia, and today we are we will be starting with the Hangout Guide to Invest Guide to IIT. Yeah. So we'll start with some questions. Uh, yeah. First of all, why IIT? Like a person, why should a should a person person go for IIT? Okay, that's a very standard question. See, IIT is not really a kind of a, any college. It's a kind of philosophy. It's not simply an educational program. You need to you need to lean yourself into it. You get along with it, and you have to understand the complete philosophy of IIT before you actually can actually pass out. The time when you pass out from IIT, you are a completely different person. So it actually transforms life. So basically, it's not just the education curriculum. It's more about. It's also about. the people you will be meeting there as in the overall experience of the person isn't it that's correct that's correct it's not really the education curriculum see the education curriculum is not very different as compared to any other engineering college if you look at the structure it is not very very different but the way it is taught the way you are groomed by the faculties that is the most important thing that is the segregating factor that's the reason iit is a difference okay and next question we'll be discussing about the format of iit j uh, the format has been changing for last 10 years and there have been very recent changes so as right. a student what should be the uh, what should be my preparation for the new j format see uh we need to be very very methodical when we are preparation first is the j mains and then we have the j advance so we need to take one step at a time the first thing is to get through the j mains and for that we also have to be very very clear about what exactly we are planning to get in our board examination because board examinations the marks as well as the preparation that we do for the boards are going to be very helpful for the j mains preparations so first of all we should be targeting our j mains if we get a very good score in j mains then we should focus on our j advanced because we will have a couple of days to be precise between j mains and the j advanced so the trick that i would like to suggest is that you sh we should focus on the different subjects specifically we have to focus on our main important areas and then accordingly we have to prepare for the main examination first and then we should be focusing on that part if we try focusing on both the things together obviously our plannings are going to get jeopardized Okay uh, I would like to add one more point to this like a person should be focusing sure. all on all the three subjects uh, all together yes. because a uh, person cannot be very good in one and just neglect the other one apart from That's that, a very good point yeah, that's a very that, good point uh, what do you that's think about like how should a person be going about the boards preparation and j preparation because a person has to give bo his 100% in both of them from uh, in the current that's format That's perfect uh, so how should a student be going about that See, let me tell you some things. Uh, as far as the syllabus for JE is concerned, the syllabus for JE is not much different from the class 11th and 12th syllabus. It's just the application that is different, and the way you prepare for your examination for JE and for your boards is slightly different, right? Now, if we first have to focus for our boards examination, it's a common misconception that if we focus for JE. you cannot get good marks in j uh, you cannot get good marks in boards the reason why is i am saying that it's a misconception is that if you understand about a particular concept let's say speed or velocity the difference between that if you understand the difference the conceptual difference obviously you can apply that into the problems and that's going to be helpful for j and you can understand and define it for your board examinations so it's not really anything different so what i would suggest here is the following that when we are preparing for our je obviously all our concepts get clear 
it's just that if you plan it accordingly that if we since we already know about the concept we have to just revise it the definitions for our board examination so if we do the planning properly in that case one to one and a half months should be good enough because we have already done our preparation for your j okay uh, my next question will be uh, right yeah. now it's already december and the uh, exams right. are very near so students will have uh, i guess 3 to 4 months for preparing for iit as well as boards so what should be right. the current strategy for the students see what i would like to suggest is that let's target that we just have one month for clearing j how exactly we are going to do that why i'm saying this the reason i'm saying this is for the simple thing that when if even if i take let's say uh 25th of november or let's say 20th of december now so if you look at it so right from 25th of november if i just try to calculate there roughly around 76 days 76 to 77 now for this you would be preparing for your pre board examinations generally the pre boards are held during december or january right so if you deduct from these 76 77 days one month so roughly around 45 to 46 days are left so our preparation for boards should be focused on those pre boards in that one month it is good enough for you to be preparing plus obviously your pre boards are not going to be over in a particular day or two it's going to be taking a week or so so roughly only around 30 days would be left for you to prepare for j means so effectively you have more time for your boards than for your means so before you start preparing because right now obviously would have uh, either your pre boards would have obviously already started or they are just going to start so therefore you would have obviously prepared for the j means and now you should be focusing thoroughly on getting your cbse or your state boards or icsc boards concept in perfect shape yes sumit i agree a person should be very much focused on one exam at a time first the boards right. then the j j two exams uh, right. my next question will be uh, what will be the tips for the students uh, while they are atten- attempting the j e question paper while like those big big hours when a person has to attend the question what should be his uh, mindset and uh, like what should he be doing at that time so that's a very very good point see when you are trying to attempt a question you should segregate first of all don't be in a hurry go as slow as you can so for that first try to be completely positive means just forget about every every kind of stress if you don't get through what is going to happen blah 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 forget about that just stay focused be positive then with a fresh frame of mind read the complete question paper at least once when you read through it your mind should be developing the answers for some of the questions so just segregate those questions once you have segregated that don't take stress if you are not able to attempt a particular question just move over to the next one and for developing this you need to practice the j level questions before you would have practiced the j level questions before so therefore when you are trying to attempt it first see when you have seen that which questions you are going to attempt first then there are going to be some outliers obviously they should be ruled out then there should be some technically correct options you should rule them out It means the only the correct option should be selected you have you can do you can narrow down your options so that's going to be very very useful for most thing what i have observed in the students is that if you think a particular option is correct in the first go think about it that that may be the correct option because it has been seen that the first choice that you make or first guess that you make is in general or more than 50% of the time is the correct correct answer so these are broadly speaking some of the tips that you should attempt 
but try to do as less as possible as the guests were. Yes, Sumit. I'll also like to add in uh, some of the points we do tell to tell to our students as well. Uh, first right. of all, a person should go with a strategy when he's entering the exam. So basically, right. when you're uh, suppose it's a three hours a question paper and you are thinking of giving uh, like limited amount to each and every subject. So maybe you should have a strategy like maybe you should give uh, if your physics is good, you can give like 50 minutes to physics, then one hour to maths. And then maybe what like if chemistry is suppo like supposed to be a subject which is, which is not very mathematical. So maybe you can give like 45 minutes to 50 minutes to that. And whatever rest 20 minutes you have left finally, you have to utilize that in a very, very smart way. You have to uh, choose the questions which you think can be done. You, you, the basic aim when you're going into uh, exam like IIT JE, you have to maximize your score. So Perfect. time is a very, very important commo commodity over there. So you have to right. need to have a strategy before you enter the exam and practice that strategy in at least a lot of test papers. I While agree. you are preparing for I the exam, try different strategies. Once you are you have you have come up with a strategy that you think will will stick to you uh, in J, you have to practice that at least ten times before you go for the final exams. Uh, emotional quotient is again very very important for students. Uh, IITJ is a very, very tough exam as we all know, uh, especially in terms of undergrad, uh, it is one of the toughest exam. A person has Absolutely. to maintain his composure for like two years and then he right. has to prepare for one big day in which which will decide a lot of what he has done. So emotional question right. is really important. Can you give some tips how a person should be coping with the pressure, peer pressure, mental pressure, everything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would just give an example of a Bollywood movie. Uh, a couple of years back, quite a few would have seen that movie, that chapter, there was a famous dialogue in that, it says that you just have 90 minutes, I am not going to tell you, the post tells you that I am not going to tell you how to play in these 90 minutes. So it's the same way, there can be multiple amounts of strategies, what you said is completely correct. That means the tutors or the trainers can suggest multiple strategies. For instance, I will just give you three strategies. Majority of my students would have actually opted for each equal, each equal, each of the strategy equally, and they're equally successful. So I am not going to say which of the strategies should be followed by Padi. For instance, what if you of the strategies that I suggest is that you equally divide your day into three equal parts. Starting off with mathematics, then either physics or chemistry. The reason why I'm saying that starting off with mathematics is that mathematics is mainly numericals. So when you start your, starting your preparations, then the fresh mind can attempt the numericals much more faster and therefore it becomes a much more constructive approach. That's what I have felt. And then you go on to the theoretical concepts of the physics and followed by chemistry. Because chemistry is has majority part of the theoretical parts, if we talk about the organic and the inorganic part. Physics also has some numerical parts. So let's attempt the numerical part first and then go over to the theoretical part. This is the same strategy what I would like to suggest to anyone who is appearing. The reason is this. Because if you attempt the numericals first, there is a very less likelihood that your answers are going to go wrong because you are attempting them with a completely fresh frame of mind. For the theoretical concepts, you have to recollect quite a few things and therefore you need to think about it and you need to devote your time. As you correctly said, the time management is very, very important. And we should not think that the complete duration of the time which is with us. We should stick to it and we should think that, that only we have 75% of the time and we have to finish with that. If we target for 75%, only then we will be able to finish earliest by 85%. So we will only be left with a very, very small gap of 15% time. That is very much necessary to revise whatever you have done and also attempt those which you have left. 
because invariably most of the students find that the time is completely less so sorry i spilled over to this thing i should also tell you about the strategies the other strategy that i intend to tell students is that first focus on the mathematics let's say for one hour of the day and the next two hours to either physics or chemistry or similarly if you are studying for something let's say two to three hours in a day which is going to be less but if you are studying for that then focus on either physics or chemistry on one day math on the other and then chemistry or physics on the other day followed by math why i'm saying this because maths would need more practice because you have to work them out and moreover if you work them out for mains if you prepare for mains obviously your board preparation would be completely done because all the types of questions that you'll be practicing for mains would be covered in your boards so you don't really have to prepare separately which is a common notion that you have to work separately for boards that is not correct yeah uh, that is a very nice strategy indeed the fact that when you when you are in the morning you are very fresh and uh, you can work out the math problem first and then you can go to the theoretical part uh, that That's is a very it. nice strategy indeed uh, on the emotional question we would like to add a few more points that like because it's a two year uh, preparation a person has to be consistent so he cannot right. be over stress, stressing overworking himself yeah, out for that, few period and he cannot yes, be sir. like slacking on the rest of the period you have you have to be consistent all the way uh, right. sumit you are also a faculty in like you must be knowing this that student tend to compare themselves with other students maybe one which are very much uh, like uh, very much brilliant and they go in a lot of mental pressure because of that so right. that is right. one of the things a person person should not be comparing himself That's with true. anyone it is your exam it is your uh, your war you have to go through it and you have to clear this exam okay so uh, what i suggest sorry to interrupt you uh, what i suggest to my students is that it is just one seat that you need forget about who are you comparing with you may be comparing with a person who may be brilliant but it is what you do in that duration that is important you should focus on that one seat forget about how many students are comparing how many students are you competing with that doesn't matter it's just that one seat that is important moreover when you try to compare it with uh, your peers let me give you an example it's been a couple of years now for me that i passed up as a matter of fact i don't want to boast anything but i did not have a very good rank in my school as a matter of fact my school topper couldn't get to the iig and i did manage to do that he did get to the bits reason being there was a percentage based admission that time Yeah, yes, so sir. don't compare don't think that since a particular person is getting let's say 90% 95% 97% in respect to that that is that is immaterial that's a board mark that is that is right that. sumit uh, that, that is true that things. we have to uh, focus on our our preparation and uh, not see that's the correct. other people one 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 last quick question and then we'll uh, then we'll wind up this session yeah. uh, uh, as like everything is shifting on to online avenues right now like uh, in college pedia we do have online video lectures a person is on in also in ask itens uh, as yeah. it is one of the best online academies uh, right. a, pers- a person has to shift from a classroom uh, mindset to a online uh, education mindset right. any small last moment tips like what should be the uh, what should be the tips for the student studying from a online classroom material Okay, when you are studying from an online classroom material, you have a better way to actually grasp the things. The reason why I'm saying this is this: if you are trying to understand in an offline mode, the board is your godfather, right? But when you are studying on an online mode, you can actually visualize the things. There are 3D models. You, for example, if you are talking about an organic chemistry reaction mechanism, if it's a SN1 or an SN2 reaction. why does it have to be an sn1 why does it have to be an sn2 is because you can understand the chiral mechanism how exactly the reaction is taking place that is going to be the most important thing 
So using the online models, you can actually be a much better off you can, since you can visualize. What I would like to say, what I would like to conclude on that is that always try to visualize things. If you visualize the things around you, you can actually attempt the questions much more faster. I'm not talking about mathematics though, I'm talking about physics and chemistry and you can actually visualize and get the answers at a much faster pace. So that's the reason online is going to be the medium in the in near future. Yes, Sumit, I agree that uh, uh, a person can always, uh, through online mediums, he can visualize more, more and he can learn in a better way. And also if right. like uh, you have missed out on some something which uh, which class teacher classroom teacher was saying at that time you can always go back and rewind these things that's correct uh, that's so correct. you will not be missing anything uh, yeah since you would also have the recordings so yeah. at any instant of time if you have any doubt obviously somebody would have asked that in the regular class yes, in you, case have you have more no time asked. to grab so the grab the concept that. and it's uh, it's a very good uh, avenue instead uh, indeed for students who learn things so that's we are going correct. to wind up this session all the students who have been watching this best of luck from me and Sumit uh, for your exams. Go do well and thank you for watching Guide to IIT. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sumit.